Hello, in this video we're going to talk about uh, simplifying rational functions. The first thing to know about a rational function is what it is. Rational seem, just means something written as a fraction. So when you have a rational function, you're simplifying it, all you're, all you're taking is a fraction and just cleaning it up, making it easier to, to look at, easier to work with. So um, I want to just look at a few examples to start with. Um, we'll start with something like this. 4x squared divided by 4x cubed plus 12x. Um, in order to simplify a rational function, first of all, um, you can only you, you, you cannot just start crossing things out up and down. That's the most common mistake. You have to have only terms that are that are multiplied together on the top and bottom before you can cancel them out. Uh, what you can define is you have to do a lot of factoring to make this happen. Um, so I'm just going to rewrite the 4x squared since it's kind of by itself up top. Uh, downstairs, I'm going to notice that we've got 4 and a 12. We can factor out a 4 from both of those. Also, we can factor out an x. And left over, we just have a, an x squared. And then from this, we'd have a plus 3. Um, now, because everything on the bottom is multiplied together, you're free to start crossing things out. For example, the 4s can cancel out. Also, x squared divided by x uh, makes x to the first. Just a reminder if your rules for your rules of um, dividing fractions, if you have x squared over x, you always just subtract the exponents. 2 minus 1 gives you just x to the first on top. And x squared plus 3 on bottom. So uh, that's, that's that. Um, again, just with the, the rules of division, let me just reiterate that. x to the fifth over x cubed would be x squared because you subtract 5 minus 3 and that makes 2. And if you have like x over x to the fourth, that's 1 minus 4, which is x to the negative 3, which actually is 1 over x cubed. If you have a negative exponent, it's really, you just flip it downstairs and put it on the bottom. So that's just kind of a review of your, your fraction rules. Um, let's try some more of these. Let's move this up. Oh, here we go. 2x cubed minus 32x divided by x squared plus 8x plus 16. Uh, so this is one that I want to factor the top and the bottom. Um, when I have a minus and pluses in between my terms, I can't do anything no matter what. So you always have to write the top and the bottom of the fraction with uh, parentheses that are multiplied together. If you don't do that, then you can't simplify it. Up top, I'm going to notice that 2 goes into both of these and x does as well. So I've got a GCF of 2x. And uh, remaining would be just uh, x squared and then minus 16. Uh, downstairs, I can factor x squared plus 8x plus 16, two numbers which multiply to be 16, but add up to 8 would be 4 and 4. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to recopy that, x plus 4 on the bottom. Meanwhile, x squared minus 16 is a difference of two squares. So that's going to be x plus 4 times x minus 4. And now since we have everything multiplied together with parentheses, uh, we can start canceling things out. So that would be x plus 4 uh, can cancel out on top and bottom. We have this left on top, that on bottom. That's fine for answer. You might also multiply the top out. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. So that would be fine too. Uh, sometimes you have more than one rational function that you multiply um, uh, 
where you multiply them together. So let's just start with kind of a, a basic example of that. Um, 16x cubed, 5y to the ninth, x to the fifth, y to the eighth, 80 x cubed y to the first. So let's uh, just look at this. There's two ways you can approach this. You can multiply across the top and across the bottom first uh, and then simplify, or you can simplify up and down here, up and down here, and also diagonally that way and diagonally this way. Um, it, it's really up to you. Um, so because the numbers are a little bit big here, I might just choose to go ahead and simplify diagonally at least with the numbers, uh, 16 and 80, I'm going to notice uh, 16 goes into 85 times. So I'm just going to reduce that to 1 and 5. That way, otherwise, I'd be multiplying 5 times 80. That's going to be a big number. Um, so I don't want to mess with that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply across the top. 1x cubed times x to the fifth. When you multiply two bases with, the, with different exponents, you add the exponents x to the 8th, uh, and then y to the 8th, uh, and then 5 times 5 makes 25, uh, x to the 3rd is just by itself, it's just there by itself, y to the 9th times y to the 1 makes y to the 10th, and finally I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to subtract the exponents, so I've got 1 over 25 still. Um, x to the 8th over x cubed, 8 minus 3 is x to the 5th. That's 1 times x to the 5th. Uh, y to the 8th minus, uh, y over y to the 10th, 8 minus 10 is negative 2. So you could write this like negative, like that. But eventually you'll need to go ahead and acknowledge that that goes to the bottom. So you have 25y squared over x to the 5th. Maybe a better way to think about this, if you got 8y's on top, 10 y's on bottom, eight of these cancel out, and two are left on bottom. So that's maybe a, a more direct way to think of that. So that's how you simplify um, two rational functions uh, multiplied together, two rational uh, expressions, maybe I should say. I don't know that they're functions, but they are expressions. Um, let's do another one. x squared. plus x minus 6 uh, over 2x squared. So 2x plus 8 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. So um, this is a case where, you know, I told you up above you could choose to divide across or up and down first, or you can just multiply everything out and then try and go up and down. This is a case where you really, really need to consider canceling things out first. Otherwise, this could just turn into a total nightmare. Um, if you go ahead and acknowledge the factoring first, uh, this is going to actually be a pretty easy problem. Um, so here, what multiplies to be 12 but adds up to 7, uh, 3, and 4. That's x plus 3 and x plus 4. Uh, what multiplies to be negative 6 but adds up to be 1? That would be x plus 3 and x minus 2. What factors out of 2x and 8? A 2 and remaining would be x plus 4. So now we're going to cancel out everything that we can. Let's see what's left over. Uh, we can cancel out up and down x plus 4 and x plus 4. Those can go. Uh, x plus 3 and x plus 3 can cancel out diagonally. The 2 and the 2 can cancel out diagonally. And left over now we have x uh, minus 2. And we have x squared. And that is all that's left. So that's a situation where canceling things out diagonally really will help you out a lot, make things a lot easier for you. Um, Let's uh, work on a couple examples with division. Division is the exact same, except you have to uh, change it to multiplication by multiplying by a reciprocal.
Okay. X squared plus 6x minus 7 over 3x squared divided by x plus 7 over 6x. Um, so if you have division, just like any other division of fractions, uh, you need to rewrite this as multiplication, where you have x squared plus 6x plus 7 over 3x squared times the reciprocal, 6x over x plus 7. That is something that you learned probably in like the fifth grade, dividing fractions. It still works the same way. Um, we're going to go ahead and factor now and see what we can cancel out. Uh, and sorry, that is a minus 7 right there. I would miscopy that. Um, what multiplies to be negative 7 but adds up to 6? x plus 7 and x minus 1. Um, and uh, so we're going to now cancel out the x plus 7s, and you're going to end up, we'll have uh, 6x times x minus 1 and then over 3x squared. And you can see that the 6 and the 3 reduce further to just 2 and 1, and one of the x's reduces out, so you're going to have 2 times x minus 1, and then over 1x. That's all that remains. That's a case of division of fractions. Let's do one that's kind of a kind of a, a, a word problem that involves division of fractions. Um, suppose you have a rectangle and you're told the area is 12x squared minus 11x uh, minus 5. And one of the sides is 3x plus 1. And you want to know that other side. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to say, well, length times width equals area. So um, if you have, I'll just write this up here, 3x plus 1 times question mark. That's 12x squared minus 11x minus 5. So if you want to solve for your, your, your length here, we'll say this is the, this is the width, and this is the length. The length is going to be the area, 12x squared minus 11x minus 5, divided by 3x plus 1. And uh, you can kind of try and factor this um, if you... Uh, if you use my method that we learned in a separate video, uh, we can do the pretend, uh, say you do five minus five times 12, pretend you have x squared minus 11x minus 60, and uh, think about what multiplies to be negative 60, but adds it to be 11, uh, probably negative 15, and positive four. Um, negative 15x plus 4 makes negative 11. Negative 15 times 4 makes negative 60. Uh, we multiply by 12, so now we divide by 12. Uh, and we have to reduce those fractions first. That's going to be 5 over 4 and 1 over 3. And because both of these are fractions that are not reducing down to a whole number, we bring that up. We get 4x minus 5 times 3x plus 1. Uh, so you can see that uh, if you were to divide this by 3x plus 1, you get 4x minus 5. And you could have done that with long division also. That's another way you could have done that. Um, so just something to kind of um, think about a little bit. I want to do a few more uh, questions uh, with division. Okay. X squared 
minus 14x plus 48 over x squared minus 6x divided by 3x uh, minus 24. I'm just going to say over 1 because it's just divided by 3x minus 24. Uh, first thing to do is flip and multiply. And this is going to be times 1 over 3x minus 24. Now I'm going to start factoring everything and see what I can cancel out. Here, a 3 comes out, and I have left over x minus 8. Here, an x comes out, and left over is an x minus 6. And here, what multiplies to be negative 48, but adds up to negative 14? Uh, well, what are the options? Let's just write some 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times 16, 4 times 12, 6 times 8. I think I like 6 and 8. Uh, x minus 6, x minus 8. So now we're ready to start simplifying this. Um, the x minus 8s can cancel out diagonally. Uh, x minus 6 cancel out up and down. So we just have a 1 over x times 3. Just 1 over 3x there. That's pretty, went down pretty, uh, uh, factored out pretty nicely. Um, so the theme here for all these problems uh, is you um, take what you have on top and bottom. If possible, you want to factor it. Uh, you can only start crossing things out when you have this times this, a parenthesis times a parenthesis, uh, not like somebody's going to try and cancel out this x squared, and that is wrong. You cannot do that. Uh, if you have a plus or a minus still remaining in the top or bottom, you can't reduce that out. So just please remember to, to factor things um, as much as you can uh, and then try and cancel things out. Uh, this will wrap up uh, an introduction to uh, simplifying rational functions.